five signs that you are spiritually gifted many people they have this gift but they don't know how to know that you are spiritually gifted after this you know that you are surely bigger than you think hello everyone welcome back to my channel thanks so much for stopping by if you are new here for the first time you are so welcome my name is pamela so here on this channel i share spiritual tips i also share messages messages that will help you greatly to say the kind of prayer that will make god to answer your prayers faster spiritual tips that will make you to do your spiritual work yourself you doing it rightly with your faith you see it working perfectly just like a magic if you love spiritual tips go on and subscribe turn on the bell so that whenever i upload videos you get notified and come and watch so like the title says five signs to know if you are spiritually gifted yes i'm going to be showing you all rather listing it one after the other and after this you will know that the way you see yourself you will see it in another way after this i want to let you know that i don't do spiritual work i don't do spiritual work for people okay and i don't also collect money selling spiritual items i don't do that anybody claiming to be pamela claiming to be Pamela's tv telling to bring money or spiritual work or anything just tell the person the person is a scammer i'm not the one so beware of scammers many will have these signs without knowing many will have these gifts without knowing many will be feeling it in them we see so many signs but they will not know that they are spiritually gifted and some people will actually go out there seeking from help from those people that they are, they are bigger than you are going to meet those people that your own spirit is stronger than because you don't know who you are some will know who they are but they don't know how to bring it out to start manifesting they surely know that they are spiritually gifted but they don't know how to start making it to start manifesting why some will never know they will end up going to seek help from people that they are bigger than like i said earlier so, so many people with this natural gift natural gift from god almighty we go seeking from help from people that are fake seeking from help from, from people that don't have that natural gift you know what that means you end up making that spiritual work the person did for you not to work because your own is stronger than the person some people if you go to them okay they will actually know that you are stronger than them but they will not tell you it takes few people to know and tell you that oh the gift you have is very very strong just few people which are very scarce so if you always read through dreams like if your dream always manifests you dream and it's just like a message anytime you dream it comes to pass whether it's a bad dream whether it's a good dream just know that you are spiritually gifted yes some people will say oh i don't want to dream bad dream but actually that is a fact it's very very good to dream bad and good dream bad dream can be a message telling you to awake and do the needful so whenever you want to sleep pray to god almighty to make you dream or pass messages through dreams through dreams so that you know what to do even when you dream the good ones okay you also have to pray to god to make it manifest without praying to make that good dream to manifest it's it just it's just zero it will not manifest secondly you have visions you always have visions you just stay like this some visions will be coming your way how to know is you'll be getting so many messages even when you're awake not only dreams okay visions comes even when you are awake you just be staring at a particular place you'll be getting so many messages mind you satan can also feed one with wrong vision evil ones can feed one with wrong vision also can feed you with vision you may not know the exact one so all you have to do is just to pray tell god almighty you want god to interpret this message because you want to go to the right direction you don't want to follow the direction of the evil ones there are monetary spirits okay there are also familiar spirits so when you get vision it may be false it may be from evil source it can also be from god almighty so what matters is praying to follow the right vision and some people not everybody anyway most people that have these natural gifts these spiritual gifts they are some of them are short-tempered like any small thing they are very angry especially when that gift is so manifesting in them 
they always get annoyed they they lack patience okay they lack patience so it's not everybody though some people they they are just hot tempered like short tempered without having any gift so i'm just trying to tell you that many people that have natural gift they are short tempered so if you come across those people don't just underestimate them or start blaming them it may not be their fault the power that they are carrying is so much as sometimes you see them very calm behaving normal that is spirit acting in them okay that is spirit acting in them it's no longer their normal self so most of them are just very short tempered and they get easily annoyed so when that spirit leaves them you see them acting so cool even them will be very surprised with their behavior they will be shocked with, with they will be shocked with how they behaved but what matters is let the spirit of god possess us okay if you're having a natural gift pray to god almighty day and night steady that the spirit that want to possess you should be from the holy spirit from god almighty you don't want any demonic spirit possessing you so that you will not spoil things when you always find yourself waking up around these spiritual hours from 3 a.m 4 a.m this is the peak of it you know like i always discuss always pray at midnight midnight time is very very important this is a silent time this is a, a spiritual time that whenever you pray god will surely hear you it's not just praying you have to tell god to have mercy upon you repent of all your sins and do not go back to them again create a very strong bond between you and god like make god to be your closest friend around this time not only around this time anyway you can actually pray at any time but this is a spiritual hour if you find yourself waking up around this time know that this is a message telling you to wake up and pray and anything you ask anything you pray will come to pass god almighty will hear you this is the time to intercede for yourself you know that problem you are passing through when you find yourself waking up around this time do not just go and urinate and come back use this time very well even if it's just like 30 minutes or two, uh, 20 minutes for those that say whenever they wake up they are not able to sleep back but they find it difficult to go to bed to sleep some people they use drugs to sleep they use medications so but just try to help yourself spiritually it's not about every other way of your life you have to help to build your spiritual life solve some spiritual problems so when you find yourself waking up, it's just like God knocking, telling you to wake up. Holy Spirit is waking you up. Wake up, wake up. It's time to intercede. Open your mouth and speak. Remember, God knows our problems, okay? But he wants you to seek. Seek him first. Remember he said in the Bible, seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. The door will be opened to you. Anything you ask him, you have to open your mouth. Let him know that you really want him. And not just you claiming that oh god will do it for you without you opening your mouth to ask do not lean on your own understanding seek him until you find him so open your mouth and pray okay tell god almighty what you need if you find any of your loved ones having issues this is the time to intercede for them and you see it coming to pass god almighty will surely answer your prayers this last one is when you always hear things you'll be hearing some voices midst of people you'll be hearing different voice speaking to you remember what i said earlier it can be familiar voice speaking you know telling you some things to do so that you fall into problems why it can be a message from the holy spirit so when you always hear voices even in your calm moment at any time all you have to do is just to pray to god almighty tell god almighty that you want his will to be done you want to follow his steps you want to follow his direction whether you dream tell god almighty that you want to follow the way of god you want this bad dream to turn to good dream you cancel every bad dream you cancel every bad dream concerning anybody you saw in dream be it your loved one or anybody close to you your friends or yourself cancel and destroy it so that it will not manifest you are truly strong spiritually if you have all these gifts there are so many signs anyway I'm just giving you five signs you know like five signs if you notice any of these signs just know that 
you are spiritually strong and you have to work towards it. You have to do the needful so that your destiny will start manifesting. So that you know how to use them wisely. Do spiritual work yourself with faith. It must surely work because you have the gift already. So just try to know who you are, okay? Do not be afraid underestimating yourself. Do not underestimate yourself anymore. By the grace of God, God Almighty will open your eyes, open your ears, and you know who you are. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, share this video to everyone. Remain blessed as always. I will see you in my next video.